It's something of a tradition on Christmas Eve for the American president to call the men and women in our armed forces stationed overseas. Listen to this exchange between President Trump and a Marine general stationed in Afghanistan this Christmas Eve. So we've been here about seven months, been trying to move the football every day, staying on mission and task, sir, and we're honored to serve out here. Sir, our uh, real question for you today is, is how are you going to spend your holiday uh, here in the coming uh, uh, today, tomorrow, and uh, hopefully into the weekend, sir? Well, I'm at a place called Mar-a-Lago. We call it the Southern White House because I really pretty much work. That's what I like to do is work. Oh, you're spending Christmas in a war zone? I'm in a place called Mar-a-Lago. But the real head-scratcher from that Christmas Eve phone call is that the president's claim that he really just likes to work while he's at Mar-a-Lago. Take the president's Christmas week schedule. Sunday morning, 10.08 a.m., the presidential motorcade arrived at Trump International Golf Club and did not leave until nearly 2.30. Tuesday, Christmas Eve, the president arrived at his golf club at 10.13 a.m. and stayed until just after 4 p.m. The president was back at Trump International Golf Club again today, arriving just after 10 a.m., leaving right around 2.30. I'm sensing a pattern. Now, we should say we don't know for sure 